hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here from what we have here which is a raised to the power x equals to 36 here we take the log on both sides as this we have log it raised to the power x equals to log 36 the next step here we apply the power of log when we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. But this here, what we have becomes x log 8 equals to log 36 from here. The next step here, we divide this side by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. Which implies here log 8 comes with each other and we have x left which is equal to log 36 over log 8. Then next step here we can write 36 as 4 times 9 which implies what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 9 over log 8 then from here what we have here follows from the log logarithm when we have log a times b the same thing as log a plus log b that is what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 9 over log 8 then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 9 over log 8 then also from here we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. Also, 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 raised to the power 3. And also, 9 as 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 2. Keep, then plus log 3 squared over log 2 cube. Then here we apply the power of log n. 2 comes here, 3 comes here, also from here 2 comes here and 3 comes here. And we have x equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2 plus 2 log 3 over 3 log 2. Then from here, log 2 cancelled each other. We have 2 over 3 left, which implies x equals to 2 over 3 plus here we have 2 over 3 times log 3 over log 2. That is, here we apply change of base. When we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. Now this here we have x equals to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2. That is from here you can bring this together as one fraction x equals to SCM here that's 3 then this still remain 2 then plus 2 log 3 is 2. Then we can say that here we have the value of x in this problem as x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 is 2 all over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here 
which is x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 raised to all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 36 from here? Then next step here, we can write it as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then here, this power multiplies and 3 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? And here we apply the law of indices. What we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is what we have becomes 2 raised to power 2 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then 2 raised to power 2 here, yeah, that's 4. Then times here, yeah, we reverse this 2 from power law. When we have p log m, which is the same thing as log m raised to power p. And this here becomes 2 raised to power log. 3 square base 2 is equals to 36 from here. Then we have 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 square that's 9 base 2 is equals to 36 here. Then here this follows with a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b. That is we have 9 here. 4 times 9 is equals to 36 here. Of course, 4 times 9 here gives us 36, which is equals to 36 on this side. Hence, we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 plus 2 log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. And also join our membership package for more of our videos and exclusive perks. Thank you. See you next class and bye for now.